What is good, Solo Flow Gang? We are back with another tutorial. Before we go any further, make sure to subscribe. Did you do it yet? Okay, awesome, sick. And <laughs> check out my Instagram, soloflow 7 you already know. Thumbs up, give it a follow. Get ready to learn a standing full, and welcome to my house. This is my backyard, it's iconic, you already know. We got the air track in the pool. It's an aquatic specimen. Okay. Okay, that was a gainer full. We're obviously not gonna do that. We're gonna start off with the basics. But let's do it on the air track because I think it's visually appealing to the eye. It's colorful, it's all you could ever ask for. And you already know, the Crocs are in sport mode, as always, vibrant colors, matching the air track. Let's get into it. All right, so the first flip you need to learn before doing the standing full is obviously a backflip, as you can see. You can either tuck or do a layout, either one. You just gotta get that rotation, that basic backflip. So now that you have your backflip down, Whichever way you twist, I twist to the left, most people twist to the left, so I'm assuming you twist that way. So it's like a game of follow the leader. Your right arm is going to be following your left arm. It's this motion. Your left arm goes up and around and your right arm follows. And a lot of people go over their head completely and it makes it a lot harder, but I do like a different kind of full where I kind of cheat over my shoulder. So a great way to learn is to set like nipple height below shoulders. You want to set right there by your shoulder. You don't want to go above. You want to go this way. That way. So watch my arms, ready? See that? You don't have to do the point. That's just my signature move. But um, yeah. Okay, so a good drill to do, creating that motion and not doing the flip, but just kind of getting the spin down. So that, that motion. See that? The, with the arms. <laughs> I promise you it'll help in the long run. So then you incorporate that same motion into a flip and it just becomes this. Pretty simple to me. I suggest you try this in a gym because it's safe or on something soft. Obviously on a trampoline, it's gonna be a lot easier to convert trampoline skills to the ground because you already know how to flip. But yeah, um, I can show you when I tramp real quick. You already know. D-tramp fam, side flip check. On a trampoline, it's gonna look like this. I'm not a cheerleader, I don't land like that. I just wanted to be funny, but you get it. The reason why trampoline is super easy is because it gives you more air awareness and time to actually register what flips are and how to do them. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the recipe. Then once you master the recipe, you're able to cook the food. Okay, so obviously, then you can do stuff like this. You can add twists and do all that fun sh Boom. Okay guys, long story short, the steps you need for a standing full is gonna include this arm going over your shoulder as your right arm follows. That's how you're gonna get the twist around. Second thing, as you follow through with your arms, your knees are gonna curl up like the softball in a galactic two-dimensional rift. Okay. <laughs> Once you've done those two steps, the last step will be to spot the ground, open up, and land. And again, I'll show you one more, ready? Perfect. Okay, so once you master that trick, you're gonna be able to do multiple folds, watch. Like that. Simple, copy and paste, Elmer's glue. But if you guys found that tutorial really helpful, then give this a like and a comment. And also subscribe for more tutorials and other things like that. Share with your friends, do whatever you want. It's a, it's a party. To the moon, you already know. Love you, Solo Flow Gang. Peace, see you soon.